hi everyone welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be an unboxing specifically a bag unboxing so this bag i have wanted it for quite a while now and there's more reasoning why i wanted the bag but i'll get into that as i'm unboxing it i also got an organizer purse organizer from amazon that i will be inserting into the bag because this is a tote bag which means it's kind of just open in the inside so there's no actual compartments to put like stuff in there which i kind of need because i don't want to be like going through my bag and of course we will be emptying my old bag and basically organizing the new one so this is the box it actually has like a little bit of weight to it surprisingly so there's actually two types of this bag there's a well there's actually like a couple i think there's like two more different types of this bag but the main ones are the canvas version and the leather version i really wanted the canvas version um just because i really wanted it to be pretty simple but it's out of stock and i went into a couple of stores to ask for it and they didn't have it and the only one they had in stock on the website was actually the leather one and i also didn't really want the leather one because it was like more pricey but i started doing more research i looked up videos like this one doing unboxings and i actually ended up liking the leather one more than the canvas one um for a few reasons actually but i just think the leather one looks more classier um and more subtle but okay i'm gonna just stop talking because i'm probably talking way too much and um i guess i'll start unboxing this purse Okay, so I went ahead and opened the box because it was making too much noise and it actually took a while because um, I cannot open boxes. But this is how the inside looks. It's yellow all in the inside. And the first thing I see when opening is, is this Marc Jacobs, um, I don't know, card thing. I guess it's like an authentication card. I guess the card is actually inside the purse, but this is just a little pamphlet in case I want to return it. So this is the bag. It actually feels really good. And I think it's like the perfect size too. I was actually worried that it would be too big, but I'm really happy I went with this size because I was kind of worried about getting the one that's like above this size, but let me just open it. There's so much wrapping in here. So it actually comes with, I think these are called dust bags, like basically the bags that you could put the purse in, um, I guess for storage, but um, probably won't be using this for a while. And it also comes with a chain, not a chain, but like a strap. So if you don't, don't want to be holding it like this, you can kind of hold it as well um, on your shoulder. I us just suck at opening stuff. You know what? I'm going to take all the wrapper out and then I'll be right back. All right, everyone, so this is officially the bag. This, ooh, the magnet. This is the Marc Jacobs, the tote bag in size mini, as y'all can see. Um, I probably already put pictures of the canvas version. If not, I'll put some up here. But if you've seen the canvas, you've probably noted that this is a lot more visible than um, the leather version. So I that's also another reason why I went with this version. Um, I also heard that the canvas version is prone to more lint to get stuck on it um, So a lot of people carry like a lint roller or they just have to be um, Lint rolling lint rolling it pretty often which I don't mind because I have dogs and I do that anyway, but I really Figured if I was gonna get a bag. I really wanted to be like the least like hassle free but yeah, so this is the mini version. Um, there's multiple sizes to this bag. I think it goes like mini, small, medium, and large. I don't know if there's an extra large. I don't think so, but if there is, and there probably is. But this is the mini, and I think it's the perfect bag. Now, really quickly, I did want to touch on the price of this bag um, compared to the canvas version. So the canvas version is actually $175, which I think was like a really good price for what you're getting. But since I didn't have it, I of course went with this one. And this one was actually $375. And with taxes, it came out to about like $400. But I am a student, so I was able to get a 10% discount um, 
from their website through like another like website and i think i paid a total of maybe like 350 um with tax and everything so that's pretty cool about 50 dollars off for this bag i want to get a close-up so y'all can see the leather it looks so pretty um this is how it looks and then this is the back of it this is the back of it it just says this um, y'all can even read that it basically says mark jacobs style the tote bag location new york city year 1984 so just a little detail that goes with it but i think it's so cute now i'm gonna be honest when i was watching a bunch of reviews for this bag i was so curious on what this um thing that keeps getting stuck to my earring was i thought it was for like a water bottle or something but if you look at the inside of the bag it has this zipper that goes all the way across and some people could probably find this annoying and what they would do is just put it like right here and it has a little magnet that it can just kind of um, assist you when you're opening your bag so it's like a lot easier to like open it but yeah i mean since we're here i'll go ahead and talk about the inside of the bag oh and then here's the actual card that i was talking about the authentication authentic authentication card yeah this one so this is like this looks to be the only compartment in this bag so if you can look in the bag it has this little flap thing right here and it has this little holder which is pretty cute i might put my cards in this one and then it has this extra bigger one right here and then of course it's like a flappy kind but yeah this is the inside of, of the purse as y'all can see it's pretty open inside um it is a tote bag so that's like expected but i did get a purse organizer that i can put into this so i can have little compartments and put like my airpods some makeup um money just stuff like that so it can be a little bit more organized so really quickly the reason i really wanted this bag is because um just for every day of course but so when i go to church i usually carry this ipad mini so i bought this specifically for church um just so i can you know write and like look at the bible app and stuff but i didn't like the idea of carrying this around to church so i was like i should get a bag right so i got this bag mainly for church but i mean at the same time it was also an excuse to get another bag because i was due for another bag anyway this is my old one it's the let me zip it up real quick this one is the kate spade i think it's called the moon bag or smile bag i'm not too sure what it's called but this is this is this bag i fell in love with it when i saw it i wish i would have got it in black as well but i got this color um and yeah i just this chain feels really nice and heavy but as y'all can see it's a small bag and not much fits in here i just wanted something bigger and of course i can't fit my ipad in here um so i got this i'm gonna go ahead and unbox the amazon package that i got that has the organizer in it and i got some other stuff too for my bag and i'll show you guys really soon okay so this is the purse organizer that i got from amazon i will link it down below if you're interested in this purse organizer it does not just go with this bag there's a lot of different bags that it can go with i've seen also louis vuitton purses in the reviews that were able to fit these kind of organizers as well there's different sizes this is actually a medium but there's like a large there's something called a slender medium which i guess is a thinner version of this one but this is how it looks it has these compartments all around and in the inside to put little stuff in there and it's super like there's so much space to put things in there and then of course this zipper right here with some more organization little like slots now what's really nice about this is if you're not a fan of like this zipper thing in the middle you can actually remove it so it has this velcro velcro thing right here and you can just take it off and it will just be completely open in the middle which i think is pretty cool but for now i'm gonna keep it because i really think i need that zipper but i'm gonna go ahead and put it in the bag and then i'll show you guys how it looks in the inside all right so this is how it looks on the inside you can barely see it but there's a lot more space and compartments to put whatever i want to put in here um and yeah it actually does not make the bag um heavier as much as i thought it would uh, we'll see after i put everything in here but for now it still feels good it just doesn't feel 
like it would be heavy or anything i also got a few more things from amazon for my purse i got this cute mirror that has like a little led light i do have my own mirrors in my purse but i don't have one with a light and there are times where it's dark outside in the car or wherever and i just want to see my face but i can't because there's no light so this is really cute from amazon i think it was maybe um ten dollars or less i'm not too sure and then i also got this lip balm just to just to have one uh it has spf 25 in it so that's really nice i'm all about sunscreen all right i'm gonna go ahead and take everything out of my old purse and put it into this one and then we'll kind of just look at everything from the inside okay so my bag is a lot more heavier <laughs> now but I want to show you guys how I organized it in the inside of the bag. I'm going to go ahead and flip the camera the other way. That way you guys can kind of see like a first point of view version. Instead of me just like put like pulling it up. When you open it, as y'all can see, it's actually not as packed as I was thinking it was going to be. I guess main reason for that is because I was so used to the smaller one. Um, that I didn't really keep that much stuff in there. So... Yeah, when you first open it, I have my iPad. I just kind of put it in here just to show you guys if it fits. But this is the iPad mini, by the way. I think it's like 8.3 inches. So if you have this, it will fit in the mini. Um, and yeah, so right here, I have some tweezers. These right there. We need some all the time. And this is actually the mirror that I just was talking about to you guys. Um, that has the like light. I'll show you guys right now so this is how the mirror looks it has the led light right here and then right here it has like a super zoomed in version and then in the back you just press the on and then turn it back around and there you go and yeah it's super cute and it actually it's actually pretty big so this would not be able to fit in my kate spade purse um but it was it is able to fit in this one which is really nice so do keep in mind the size if you are interested in this um it's about the size of like my whole hand <laughs> but yeah some people were saying that it was too big for the purse so yeah i guess it just depends on your purse size but for this one it fits really nicely so i just have this one tucked right there right here in the middle of it i have my eyebrow um retouch up thing that i call it it's from she glam or shein um yeah so just some makeup and then my powder that i use to touch up my face right here in this zipper i go ahead and open it so right here is stuff that it's like that i really do not want to like get lost so this is my pepper spray you know for stranger danger and then over here i have my house keys right there and then I have my AirPods, and then I have a mask like further down there. It's kind of hard to see because it is a black bag. Now over here, I have my lip products. I should probably put those like somewhere over here, but they're actually not bad right here. They fit perfectly. I actually put my cards right here where it has a little Marc Jacobs slot thing, and then I don't have nothing in here. But yeah, guys, I surprisingly don't have like pretty much anything. So I'm going to put the strap on it just to have an idea of how it looks um, and kind of decide if I want to just carry it like this or if I actually want to put the strap um, with the purse. Okay, y'all, so excuse the trash that's in the background of the video if you can even see it. But so I'm 5'2", and this is about how long it would be. But this is how it looks, to be honest. I actually like it both ways I'm not even picky even just holding it like this is super cute um i'm gonna be honest i'm not the type of person to wear my purse is like this um i never have been i think it's too much like here um but yeah even with this purse i feel like it's too um i guess bulky to have it in the front like that unless you're like okay with that and that's cool but i always like to have my purses like sitting like this like a actual like purse um and yeah i think it's so cute i actually love it like this i might keep the strap and then if i ever just want to like hold it like a bag then i can just let it fall and just hold it like this this is another close-up of the bag that is 
guys i'm back i hope you enjoyed today's video i had so much fun doing this unboxing um i know it's kind of all over the place so sorry if it seemed like unorganized um my first time doing this hopefully not the last i'll probably be getting like a whole bunch of other purses in the future but one purse at a time for now i really like to buy a bag and just enjoy it for like a couple months or at least a month so i probably won't do another video like this for a while but um definitely before the year's over if i don't forget to like post it um or if i didn't buy it in person because usually i like to buy my purses in person i'm not the type of person to really like order stuff online but i just ordered this one because i could not find it nowhere like in stores but yeah like i said thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed today's video if you have any more questions about this purse please let me know again i will be linking everything that i got from amazon i'll even link the little mirror thing um if anything um and then of course the purse organizer i'll probably even link the purse as well from their website thank you for watching be sure to subscribe and like and all that youtube stuff and of course follow me on my instagram it's at satxlana but it'll be down below as well and at the end of the video but okay i'll see you next time bye